The word dice game is a game where a person will roll the dice and then whichever number shows up on the dice, they need to write that word in the space in this column here. So if you rolled a three, you would write the word help. And if you next rolled a two, you'd write the word does. And then all the way down until you've practiced writing them five times. So to edit this with different words, you just need to go to the text tool and uh, you can do the text tool or you can also do this with the table tool. It's made with the table. Just highlight the word and change it and it will automatically center for you and keep the same font and size. If you want to change the fonts or sizes, just go ahead and highlight the words and you can come up to the fonts here with either the table or the text tool on and you can change the size of them and you can change the font to something else. So the next game in here is the activity sheet. And this has a lot of different ways for people to practice a single word. So you need to just put one word in here and then repeat it um, all around. So if we wanted to change this to red, we can just click on it and edit it. This is designed to be something to trace. So we, if you just type over it, it will keep that same sort of dotted line outline space for them to write the word and then um, this one's already got run in it but put your word into one of these squares and then put some distractor words in the other places and then for this one we just need to change a few of these so that we've got all the letters that they can use in the word oops there we go And then this too is an outline and you should just be able to type right over it and it'll maintain that outline. And so now you've got a completely different activity sheet with a new word. Sight word bingo is a game where the parent will call out the, the word and then the child needs to put either some sort of um, tile or chip over top of the words and cover them up and get bingo. So this is also made from a table. So with either the table tool or the text tool, you can just highlight over any of these and just change the words. You can keep them in caps if you want. And also like the other ones, you can just highlight this whole thing and change the font size if you would like, as well as the font type. Um, you can also change the colors um, in the stroke and fill of the table tool. Uh, the table tool is found up here and then under stroke and fill um, you can click on the cells that you want to fill. And I'm going to use the move tool with that. No, I'm not. I'm going to use the table tool um, and click fill and then why is this not working? There we go. So click on there we go, we want it to highlight blue. <laughs> Hold control and click on all your squares. And then you can go to the fill and change it to a different color. And there we go. The next one is just flashcards. Uh, you can just, again, use the text tool and just go ahead and change them. They're all made with text boxes and they are already centered for you. Um, you can change the fonts and the sizes and this you can just substitute the words and they would print it out and then they could cut along the dotted lines and create flashcards with those. Um, this is a game um, that the uh, words are underneath each of these colors, and these match common uh, Crayola colors uh, for crayons. And then we've got the different squares with the words in it. And so you can, uh, again, just type on any of these, or sorry, highlight any of these and just type over it to change the words. And then I wanted to show you how this is set up in the layers. Everything is labeled in uh, the layers that I make. Um, but under each of these words, 
um, sorry, under each of these colored squares, um, it'll say red squares, there is some colors here. And so when you turn those back on, you'll be able to see all the spaces that have this matching word. Um, so that's just a little visual for you when you are changing words you might want to just check these colors back on and that way you'll know okay these are the three I need to change that all said like now obviously if you want to mix it up a little bit so that each game doesn't color the same uh, then you'd want to ignore that but I just included that in there um, in case you wanted to visually quickly see which squares are which and have the same word in them the next puzzle is a match game. So there is two of every word and it can be printed out and cut along the dotted lines. And this is just a straight rectangle. And so you can uh, come in here and change it to whatever color that you want to change it to. The next one is very straightforward, writing practice with just some lines so that they can write the words out. And then we've got two printables with sight words, all 100 of them with a outline and without an outline. And then another word find uh, where there are five words from our list across the top that are mixed in here and there's about one in every column the way I've set up this demo one and then you can put distractor words in all the other squares and they need to color in the squares or circle the words uh, that as they find them so they're wanting to find all the instances of the word down so it's here it's here it's here there and there and then finally, there's two sets of word searches uh, in a nice large font with just a 15 words uh, per page. Uh, the last one has 14. Um, but uh, there's two sets of those, and each set uses all 100 words once. So um, that is also available in a separate file and with a separate demo. To edit the word puzzle templates, add templates to your pages section, and then click on the page that you want to fill, and then click on the frame, click on replace image, navigate to the puzzle that you want to insert and open, and it pops in there. Do the same to fill the solutions pages. So to add the words to your puzzles, um, just open the corresponding word list. Go ahead and copy the first five. Come over to Publisher with your text tool on. Highlight the first column and paste. And then just go back and forth, grab the next five back here and paste 